Because 21st century uh, teaching and learning is very much about personalising rather than teaching to a mythical centre, then uh, teachers have developed the capacity to think about their classes not as a group of 28, but actually in terms of different readiness levels and how they work with the different readiness levels in their classes. And we talk about technology-enabled learning as being an important part of 21st century teaching and learning. And the question is how you actually use your technology. So if you use your technology to do what you've always done, only neater or prettier, then you're not really using technology in terms of its full power. But if you can use technology to enable all of your class, for example, to give feedback, to see what other students are doing in terms of feedback, to be able to set challenging work outside classroom and to be able to see what are the students doing outside classroom in terms of um, managing that work, uh, and you can see who's put in the work and who hasn't. So technology gives us insights into student learning via direct feedback or via observation of how students are working with virtual learning environments to actually tackle a challenge a teacher may have set. And you can see into groups, because in the past we always had situations where in a group one student did a whole lot of the work and the others were, were coasters. And what we can now see using technology is the inputs from everybody in the group. So we think about technology as being able to see into the learning processes of our students as well as helping our teachers be able to personalise the learning for a whole range of, of different students, which makes such a difference. I think without technology, we wouldn't be able to do what it is we're doing, whether it's collecting feedback or whether it's extending students or supporting students.